Hey, it's Steve Overton with Zencoast Consulting. Today I'm going to show you how to build a bubble plot using SAS Visual Analytics. In this how-to video, I'm going to show you how a bubble plot allows you to cross multiple points of data all at once. And to start with, I'm going to show you the finished product, explain it some, and then show you how it's made. So as you can see, I'm already in Visual Analytics Explorer, and I've already got a bubble chart already made. One thing I'll point out is on the right here within the Roles tab, I can see all the different objects I can put within a single visualization. So within a bubble chart, I can see I've got an x-axis, y-axis, size of the bubble. I can group my bubbles by some categorical variable or use another numeric variable to uh, assign a color. I've also got lattice columns and rows. And one of the really cool features, I can animate the bubble chart over time. So if you think about it, with a traditional bar chart or a line graph, you've only got two axes to work with for your numeric data. So, for instance, if you're wanting to visualize something across time, you've got time on the x-axis, and then you're only left with one more spot for a variable to visualize, and that's on the y-axis. Yes, you could break it down um, by category, but you can't put any more numeric variables on there unless you've got some custom grouping or some way to format your numeric variable into a categorical variable. And one thing I'll do here real quick is show you a finished product as I'll play it. And actually, let me loop this. So as you can see here, I've got fertility rate across the uh, x-axis. I've got life expectancy across the y. I've got the bubble size as the population total. So what I'm doing here is I'm visualizing over time how fertility rate is related to life expectancy at birth. So the question is, do more children lead to a longer life or not? So it's pretty interesting to see the population of all the countries slowly increase over time. And then as you get into more recent years, you could see uh, the number of children going down slightly across the entire population. One other thing I'll point out is let's say, let's say there's a bubble that stands out and I just want to follow it. So here goes a guy right here. I'm going to highlight him and then continue to play the uh, bubble chart. And I can see here what this one particular country does as it relates to the rest of the group. So let's take a look at how to build a bubble plot. What I'm going to do is create a new exploration. I've already got a set of data ready to go. And this data is from the World Bank's Development Indicator Database. It's basically a big, wide table full of statistics over time by country. And when it loads up here in a second, I'll show you real quick. As you can see here, there's tons of measures, all kinds of things that uh, vary in depth. But I can just take a quick look at the data source details. You can see I've only got 13,000 records, but I've got 1,300 columns, which is very, very wide. So the first thing I need to do is define my default aggregations for the variables we're going to look at. So I've got fertility rates. I'm going to set the default aggregation to average. I'm going to set our life expectancy. Set that to an average. Then I'm going to set our population total to an average as well. So now let's select our visualization to be a bubble plot. And since I've got it here, I'm just going to go ahead and grab our population total and put it on the bubble size. Let's go back and grab our fertility rates. Let's put that on our x-axis. And let's put life expectancy on the y. And one thing you'll note here is I'm using the search feature to find my variables because out of 13 hundred variables that it, it would take forever to scroll through it. I find this to be very useful. So it's starting to update the graph now that we've got our variables assigned. As you can see, 
we've got a lot of different points here across all of our data points. You can see how things move across time. So we certainly want to keep slicing the data down within this bubble chart. So what now we need to do is we need to take our country name and put this on our group by variable. So that'll split all of our countries out. Now we're starting to look a little bit better, but this is an aggregation across all of time. So now let's just take our date variable and put this on the animation role. Alrighty, I'm going to set the speed. Actually, the speed's already turned up for me. I'm going to set the loop variable here, or the loop um, control. And here we go. We can start playing it and see a bubble chart of fertility rate compared to life expectancy, where the bubble size is, is the population total. And we can visualize this uh, relationship over time.